Lurdzilla is so untouchable that he makes fighting look too easy. I mean, just look at how the ladies are so impressed in the back. People often say that Lurdzilla is the fastest fighter. But that is impossible athletically as a 40 year old. What is true is that he has genius fight IQ. Lurdzilla once said, I'm not moving faster than you. I'm just moving before you do. And with that legendary fight philosophy, he had 100 consecutive wins with one of the highest winning records in combat sports history. You had a 100 fight winning streak. How were you able to accomplish that? Thai fighters, they fight hard. They crazy fight. Sometimes I fight two, twice a day. Sometimes I fight, I fight in the morning and then I fight night time again. Yeah, I, I am a um, three-time Rajadam champion. And I have um, the international fighter. I, I got um, about five five time world champion, and they have um, the Bunju LF uh, kickboxing champion in China. I want to show how my style and how how the beautiful Muay Thai. You see, his legendary style is what everyone who doesn't know how to fight imagines they would do in a fight. With over thirty nine thousand people liking this comment. This one fighter deserves much more popularity. If a fighter took Bruce Lee's quote, be like water to the max, it would be Lerdzilla. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Somewhere in heaven, Bruce Lee is very proud. And most importantly, all the ladies love him. So why exactly is Lerdzilla the most untouchable fighter? He has hyper-responsive reflexes and he's memorized all of the possible techniques that can be used. With his experience, his understanding of distance and fight IQ, Lerdzilla sees things before it happens. Now, how is this developed? First, he is from the greatest camp of all time, Jockey Jim. Second, his teammate is Sanchai. And all time greats such as Somrak. His coach was Pipa, the greatest technician coach of all time. Up, 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 up this. When people ask him how he developed his crazy dodging skill, Lodzilla himself would say that it's from a million times of light sparring over decades. Yeah, the sparring in uh, Jokim, we like to sparring in Jokim camp. They like to sparring because in Jokim camp, many fighters, they training together. We just sparring, sparring all the time. Both Lerdzilla and Sanchai said that when they were young, they didn't have the money to afford Muay Thai pads or heavy bags. So instead, they just sparred with each other rather than doing any of the modern training that we do now. Have only maybe three trainers. If the trainer hold the pad for someone, or we don't have the back, the, the back, the back enough, we just sparring. And no shin pad, no shin pad. Because we, we have to know how to control. I train with, um, I like to sparring with uh, Somla Kham Singh and Sanchai, Loba, Jinnapathai because why I have to, I love to sparring with Somla Kham Singh because I never beat him. Every day I, I try to, okay, today I want to beat Somla, but I still, he kick me ass every day. That's why, okay, tomorrow I'm sparring with you again. This is how Lodzilla is literally playing fighting games in real life. In fact, he treats it all like a game. He covers options, reads attacks, and dodges any attack perfectly. Many people around the world find the fighter being this untouchable insane. But take a look at how he keeps his eye open all the time. Observing every moment and watching where his opponent is winding up to kick or punch. Where most people would have some sense of fear, 
putting their hands up for defense. Lerdzilla simply focuses on movement and reads his opponents flawlessly. Lerdzilla understands where his opponent's hands and feet are at all times. You see, for him, it's not about moving fast at all. This is the art of minimal movement, moving just enough to achieve exactly what he wants. With laser focus on how his opponent moves, he can evade just out of range through the smallest openings available. In the history of modern fighting, there has been no fighter to achieve this level of evasive skill in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Lerdzilla is so evasive that he breaks the spirit and will of champions without truly punishing them with strikes. It's fascinating, awe-inspiring, and terrifying all at once. Look at the way he smiles while fighting. There's nothing more terrifying than someone who is so good at kicking ass and having fun while doing it. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Kenshin Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we cover all of Lerdzilla's most untouchable moments throughout his legendary career. But before we get started, if you actually want to fight like Lerdzilla, make sure to check out the course we made with the legend himself. The most untouchable system has over six hours of all of his best techniques and tactics put together in one course. If you want to fight like the most untouchable fighter, which means always enjoying yourself and outsmarting your opponent, then this course is for you. In this fight against Si Jun Hui, look at how Lerdzilla is always ahead. First he lands a low kick, which disrupts the balance of his opponent prompting a 1-2 charge. But Lerdzilla reads it flawlessly and clinches up, landing a perfect short right hand which would have been an elbow if it was Muay Thai. Then he borrows the opponent's momentum to toss him flying. A moment later, he perfectly dodges a haymaker after throwing the roundhouse, and does it again and again, with the opponent not being able to do anything about it. As he was getting pressured, Lerdzilla throws a left hook to pivot out and then pulls away from another haymaker flawlessly. The amount of angle changes here are insane. When they clinch up, Lerdzilla can jump for a flying knee multiple times, and the Chinese fighter goes f my life. At one point, Lerdzilla even sticks his tongue out to taunt the opponent, but when he starts swinging haymakers, Lerdzilla effortlessly dodges the punches, reading the straight punches perfectly and moving out of the way at the right time. Every punch wind up was read like a book. And once again, the Chinese fighter says F my life. At this point, Lerdzilla is just playing with his opponent, fighting with his hands down and keeping him away with teeps and push kicks. The inside low kick into the outside slip was absolutely gorgeous. And moments later, a rear inside low kick almost floors the opponent. When Lerdzilla threw it one more time, he floored the opponent. He gets up like a warrior, only to be sent flying once again. At this point, Hui is looking at the ceiling and wondering what he's doing there. Then, Lerdzilla plants himself on the ropes with his tongue out. As Hui charges in, Lerdzilla push kicks his flying kick attempt, but instead of putting his foot down, he keeps it there and push kicks him one more time. Lerdzilla smiles, and his opponent smiles too, knowing he just got schooled. The referee looks at him and was like, you dishonor us. Moments later, as Hui tries to charge in, he gets pushed away again and Lerdzilla is really enjoying himself. For a moment, Lerdzilla gets real aggressive moving forward with his hands down and landing a haymaker. And when the opponent throws one back, he dodges it with ease. This got Hui to attempt a rolling thunder, which was not so thunderous. Due to Lerdzilla's evasiveness, it was just rolling on the floor. Hui gets angry and hugs Lerdzilla to make him roll on the floor, but Lerdzilla just says, nice try, and laughs at him. For some reason, Hui wanted to throw some Black Bruce Lee style spinning sh**. But gets easily read by Lerdzilla and sends himself rolling on the floor once again. 
Lodzilla goes into a dodging storm and Hui goes not so thunderously rolling once again. Against Wee Ning Hui, Lodzilla was really cheeky. I think I can uh, beat you up for sure. Come on, fight with me, I'm ready. But Lodzilla was in fact ready. From the very start of the fight, he knocks his opponent down. Lodzilla initially lands a low kick, and the opponent tries to throw a left hook into low kick. The left lands on the guard, and the low kick misses. And while Lodzilla dodged, he placed himself to catapult off the ropes. When Ning spun around, Lodzilla saw a perfect opportunity. Catapulting off the ropes, Lodzilla jumps into a flying left roundhouse, placing it right above his opponent's guard. Perfect. After the kick landed, Lodzilla stood over his opponent like a badass. When they got up, Lodzilla gets him away with a triple teep. Then when Ning caught one and went for a left hook, Lodzilla dodged it like a king. Throughout this fight, Lodzilla was in a taunting mood. So every time he landed strikes flush, he started putting his hands down and started jiggling while evading. Despite Ning throwing formidable combinations, the evasive swagger was too much for him to deal with. Lodzilla vs Robin Manop Jim Against Robin, Lodzilla comes out with his hands down swaggering and lands a high kick right away. Then, he lands another body kick and Robin catches the kick to go for his own high kick and hits nothing but air. This is one of the most beautiful evasions we've ever seen. Of course, Lodzilla knows he just pulled off one of the greatest head kick dodges of all time and walks forward like a badass while the opponent backs away. Then, Lodzilla dodges another jab while wiggling and continues to apply pressure with his hands down. Throughout the fights, there were multiple times where Lodzilla push kicks the opponent's thighs to keep him away. This is a rarely used technique, but an excellent defensive technique. However, what stood out the most in this fight is how Lodzilla leaned back from a jab perfectly, and then a check low kick perfectly without even blinking. The opponent is not happy and tries to land a high kick, but Lodzilla catches it with his shoulder, walks forward, and goes for his own high kick. Neither of them hit each other, but it's game on now. They brawl with each other to end the round, and they're both having fun while doing it. In the second round, Lerdzilla comes out dodging multiple strikes in a row. Then, he lands a sweep as soon as they fall into the clinch. Here, Lerdzilla lands one of the coolest sweeps we have ever seen. Against the double inside control, Lerdzilla pushes against the chest and kicks the standing leg out. Then he does it again moments later with the inside control. He goes on an evasive spree, dodging everything Robin throws at him. Then, when his opponent threw a spinning elbow, Lodzilla dodged it and took his neck. Here's an excellent nuts heap that we will always have to feature. For the rest of the fight, there were a couple more epic dodges, but Lerdzilla basically took his opponent to school. Lerdzilla vs Li Ning In this fight, Lerdzilla turned aggressive with big throws and a beautiful knockout. Against Ning, Lerdzilla again shows next level defense. In this fight, Lerdzilla also showed us his insane offense. From the start of the fight, Lodzilla turned on aggressive mode right away, and it wasn't long before he clinched up and sent his opponent flying. Note how Lodzilla uses the star switch to close distance. This is important for setting up the knockout later. This fight was a showcase of Lodzilla's explosiveness, aggression, and his clinching ability. Every time they clinched, Li Ning would go flying. To end the fight, Le closes the distance with a step into Southpaw exactly what he used earlier to enter the clinch. 
The opponent steps back and attempts a counter hook but is met with a huge head kick. <laughs> Against Wei, Ludzilla dodged weird kicks. Throughout the fight, he demonstrated his signature lean backs and angle changes, even taking the opponent's back. The opponent uses an illegal catch and sweep, and with Ludzilla pissed off, he pays the opponent back with a throw. Even though the opponent continues with illegal catch and throws, Ludzilla stays cute with his dancing and taunting. But eventually, Ludzilla gets aggressive and lands multiple knees. Staying evasive, Ludzilla dodges quick combination kicks from his opponent, and for some reason, the opponent checks his groin here and jumps into a flying Sparta kick, which caught Ludzilla off guard. When Ludzilla teeped the opponent flying, he again checks himself in the groin. Fighting with his hands down, Ludzilla landed kicks at will against the spinning back fist. Ludzilla vs Deng In this fight, Ludzilla stands ground and presses with aggression. The opponent throws hard shots, but Lud is slick with a lean back into a back take. Ludzilla's hands down lean back is a different variation from other legends who can lean back, because his hands are completely by his side. When the opponent charges, Ludzilla can still keep moving back to get away from the blitzing attacks. As the opponent charges in, Ludzilla lands a perfect roundhouse to meet the charge. The opponent charges again with a nice combination and lands a hard punch. Ludzilla is now pissed and throws an elbow. This prompts his opponent to come in and throw multiple charging combinations, and even his own elbow after. Ludzilla now says, okay you want some, you got it, and sweeps him flying. The momentum is now with Ludzilla, and he starts to land shots at will. At the start of the next round, Ludzilla instantly sweeps the opponent and stands over him like a badass again. In the middle of the round, Ludzilla goes into stalking mode. He hunts kicks with a more traditional Muay Thai style and stance, landing at will. When the opponent tried to kick back, Ludzilla did his signature undercatch and knees the opponent flying. Throughout the rest of this round, Ludzilla had teep dominance. He also landed roundhouses at will and dodged everything the opponent threw. In round 3, Ludzilla got hit with a nut shot right away. Deng tries to capitalise on this, but Ludzilla welcomes the exchange with a dodge and cross, followed by a sweep attempt. The opponent again stops a sweep, but gets hit with multiple flying knees. Deng tried a downward jumping elbow, but Ludzilla slips through the armpit and almost takes the opponent's back. He smiles, stalks forward and lands multiple flying knees in the clinch. Near the end of the round, Deng lands a nice low kick to Ludzilla's rear leg, which prompted Lud to shake it off and stalk forward. When Deng threw a roundhouse, Lud undercourt it again to follow up with a knee and an aerial sweep. It was so nasty that the ref's face said, Oh dang, bro. Even when Deng got up, he also said, Oh dang. Ludzilla vs Garafo. Lud starts this fight with a huge lean back. Asking his opponent, is that all you got? The same thing happens again moments later. The third dodge was the sickest, as Ludzilla goes near parallel. With momentum riding high after the lean backs, Ludzilla tries a tornado kick but fails. When the opponent tries the same thing, it's caught by Ludzilla, and Garafa got thrown to the ground. When the opponent tries to catch and sweep Ludzilla, Ludzilla simply dodged over it like a ninja. Now that Ludzilla has timing and rhythm, he's putting his hands down with confidence. The opponent lands two low kicks, but Ludzilla replies with a Mike Tyson combination to the body and then head. Lud then lands a beautiful knee to the liver, followed by a perfect sweep when he tries to knee back. In round 2, Lud stands right in front of his opponent throwing combinations for 20 seconds without being hit clean a single time. He goes into some of the deepest leanbacks we've ever seen and smiles. 
for some reason in this fight. Lerdzilla gets really aggressive with swinging shots. Perhaps it's that he wants to impress the Ringos. In the middle of the round, he literally stalks the opponent with multiple teeps, landing so many of them that Garafo starts smiling. Whatever his opponent tries to throw, Lerdzilla could just evade it and looked unstoppable. Lerdzilla even leans on the ropes to show how relaxed he is. Then Lerdzilla goes into Matrix mode, dodging essentially 15 punches. When he stopped playing around, he throws big punching combinations and drops the giant. Lerdzilla then lands 6 teeps in a row. At the end of the round, Lerdzilla leans back slick one more time and excites the ring girls right after. In the third round, Lerd starts with two slick lean backs. He laughs and then proceeds to drop the giants. He pulls back on a jab and throws a fudding low kick. Then he throws a question mark head kick. Followed by one of the slickest sweeps we have ever seen. And of course, he walks off like a gangster. Lodzilla even landed a tornado kick right after, flooring the giant once again. When the opponent attempts his own spin kick, Lodzilla dodges it with ease. To show mercy, Lerd stays evasive for the rest of the fight and throws a bunch of spinning kicks. The last display of dominance was shoving the giant to the floor with ease and then doing a Super Mario after. The fight ends as Lerdzilla dodges another 15 punches in a row. When the fight ended, the organization president shows love to Lerdzilla. Like Mike Tyson, he basically wants the Ringo and Lerdzilla to kiss. The Ringo is clearly very into it and even hugs Lerdzilla again right after. Lerdzilla vs Tang Yao To counter the opponent's low kick, Lerdzilla push kicks and floors the opponent right away. Immediately, Lerd then shows his evasiveness, dodges an axe kick, and then evades some punches. Again, Lerdzilla had no problem doing hands down head movement. He then evades the axe kick and roundhouse again, and smiles. While being unstoppable with his evasions, he completely schools the opponent. To have some fun, Lerd decides to call him forward with a huge smile. Within 10 seconds of the second round, Lerdzilla evades everything and taunts the opponent. When the opponent tries to throw spinning attacks, everything misses. Then Lerdzilla sends him flying with a sweep. With his hands completely down, inviting all attacks, the opponent misses every strike attempt. Before the round ends, he floors the opponent with a teep. In the third round, Lerd showed that his footwork is so legit that he can evade under a punch, lock the body and take the opponent's back. Later on, he makes the opponent swing a hook. Then, he leans back to somehow take an angle change. Completing a 180 degree turn on the fighter, he drops his hands and smirks. Lerdzilla vs Wang Wenben in this fight, Lerdzilla shows us how to deal with an aggressive charging opponent. After evading like crazy, he simply picks the opponent up from a kick and slams him. Later on, he shows the ability to duck under the attacks, tying up in the clinch, and then sends the opponent to the canvas again. Lerdzilla's leanbacks are so effective that it will make the opponent hit the canvas without even touching him. His leanbacks are so sneaky that he'll often smile to himself. He'll even dance to invite an attack, only so that he can evade everything that comes. Here, he shows how to shut down an aggressive fighter. He pulls back from a punch and lands a counter hook. Using the momentum, he throws the fighter away. Ludzilla's evasions are built into his offense, perfectly timing the hook into a duck 
and then continuing to evade. After being schooled, Wan Ben charges, but charges into Matrix mode. Ludzilla once again slips all the punches and throws the opponent into the ropes. Ludzilla vs Kangen. Kangen is a Chinese Muay Thai and Sander legend. Ludzilla comes out pressuring right away, showing a form of respect towards the Chinese champion. However, the first body kick that Kangen threw was a big miss, and every time Ludzilla fired back with his own kicks, the Chinese champion could not deal with the speed. Ludzilla then decided he wanted to play and rest his leg on Kangen's legs. Then, when he threatened with a rear cross and rear roundhouse, his opponent could do nothing about it. This was of course followed by an epic parallel dodge once again. Later on, Lerdzilla lands a fudding body shot. The ring girls go crazy for Lerdzilla once again. This made the legend kick harder. In round 2, Lerdzilla pulled out his offensive arsenal and landed a bunch of fudding strikes. But once he solidified his scores, he again showcased his 180 degree turn. Right after Kangen started chucking haymakers and Lerdzilla ducked under, the Chinese champion tried a spinning back fist, but that did nothing. Throughout the rest of the round, Ludzilla scored with many of his signature tricks. In the third round, Ludzilla comes out hot with a lot of speedy kicks. But then he again rests his leg on his opponent and goes into a jumping kick and then finishes with a teep. Moments later, he controls the leg once again with the Ludzilla teep. The Chinese champion basically goes f my life. When he came in swinging, Lerdzilla dodged and took his back once again. This made the Chinese champion swing even harder. And Lerd once again dodged everything. After continuously scoring from the outside, Lerdzilla decided to rest his leg on Kang once again. This annoyed the opponent and eventually he waved him forward. But then Lerdzilla just turned him into the ring. And when they went back into center ring, he did it again. He kept swinging, but every time he did, Lerdzilla would spin 180 on him. Kang even went for an illegal sweep and got dumped on the floor instead. For some reason, this went into the fourth round. But once again, Lerdzilla dominated the round, flooring the Chinese champion multiple times with sweeps and taking his back multiple times. With this, he won the Heroes Legend belt and Kang in himself gave him the huge trophy. In all of these clips he is almost 40 years old, and the moments you see below were our favourites from this whole video. You see, if we judged a fight by raw speed and athleticism, his opponents would beat him. But great masters of striking can anticipate and see a punch or kick before it comes anywhere near them. This is how he can look so effortless when evading strikes. If Lerdzilla is never in any actual danger, in his mind and in reality, he simply won't feel or show any fear. This is how he looks so calm when he's under the heat of battle. Take this incredible check as an example. In this sequence, Ludzilla has his hands down as he's pressuring his opponent against the ropes. He's purposely not attacking in order to invite an attack. The moment his opponent attacks, he leans back perfectly, just an inch out of range. Then he looks at him with absolute calm, knowing exactly what his opponent will do next which was a low kick. Anticipating the kick and checking it perfectly in time, Ludzilla spikes his opponent's shin with his knee. This took him nearly no effort, and with only defense, he was able to damage his opponent. Let that sink in for a second. Only true masters of baiting can pull this off. They can tease an opponent effortlessly, making them thirsty for an attack, and then make fools out of them. At the highest level, fighters like Sam Mad even pretend to be hurt in order to invite a charge and land a knockdown. Against the Sander champion, Jian Hui, he was able to chill on the ropes and push kick the opponent away. He not only kicked him once, but Lezilla kept the foot on his opponent's belly as he tried to continue coming in. By keeping the leg there, he was able to push him away twice in one second. This level of control had the opponent impressed, and he acknowledged it right away. 
By the third round, after outclassing his opponent for the entire time, Lerzida was putting out his tongue to taunt the opponent and getting him to throw big combinations. The hands were completely down because Lerzilla wanted the opponent to keep punching him. He wanted the punch to get really close to hitting him and move out of the way in the very last second. I mean, just look at how the ladies are so impressed in the back. If he could do it, why wouldn't you? We hear that Lerzilla is loved by all the ladies in China. What we find most amazing is that Lerzilla simply sees fighting as a game. It's just fun and enjoyable for him to fight like this. If he fought serious, he could finish many opponents with ease, but he would rather entertain the crowd and enjoy the process by doing things that no one else has been able to do. Lerzilla doesn't actually care about winning or losing, he just wants to enjoy himself. In psychology, this is called being outcome independent. Ironically, research shows that people are able to perform the best when they are outcome independent. Science has shown that people with this mindset are easily able to enter higher states of flow. And that's exactly what Ludzilla is 100% of the time. He is like water. He flows and he crashes. What did you think of this epic showcase of effortless fighting? We personally love that Ludzilla can make it look so easy and not really care about winning or losing. If you want to fight like Ludzilla, check out the untouchable striking system. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to watch another episode of Striking Breakdowns. I'm Lawrence Kenshin, and thank you for keeping our channel alive.